Hi everybody. Today's Sunday, if you can't tell. It's about five o'clock. Tom just came and woke me up from a nap. I don't nap. So, probably gonna be groggy for the rest of the night, but look what finally showed up on my front porch today. My plant stand. I've been waiting for this thing since the end of August, and it's finally here. Finally. Oh, there's such a story behind this dang plant stand. I don't know where to put it. Where should I put it, Houdini? Getting ready for Christmas. But yeah, we've been waiting on that for a while, so uh, let's get into it. Hey everyone, welcome. In today's video, I want to tell you guys the story of the traveling plant stand. Yeah, the traveling plant stand. A few months back, enough months back, in the middle of August, Vivosun, I might be saying that wrong, Vivosun reached out to me and asked if I would like to try out one of their plant stands. And any planty person could always use more plant stands, so I agreed to do it. My end of the deal would be to produce a video and show you guys how I set it up and if I like it or not. Well, a few months went by and I still did not receive the plant stand. They reached out to me in September asking if I received it and I had not. I let them know that it is yet to arrive. And, you know, we conversed back and forth and they ended up sending me my address saying, we sent it to this address that you sent us. That's when I had an oh shit moment and I realized I sent them my address, but I got one number wrong. Yep, it didn't come to my house. It did ship, but to somebody else. I immediately, you know, said, oh crap, that's not my address. This is my address. I got that one number wrong. And I thought, shit, what am I going to do? Like, my bad. Sorry. Crap human over here. And I decided to put that address into Google Maps. And it actually took me two houses down the road for me. And I'm like, okay, well, that's not their actual address, but it was very similar to that one wrong number. So I said, screw it. I'm going to go down there and see if maybe it did ship to them. And sure shit, I went there and it did. I've spoke with this woman before. I've seen her before when I've walked my dog back behind her house. And so I've, we've met once before, but only that one time. And I said, hey, I'm Lauren. Did you happen to get my plant stand? <laughs> and she said, yeah, they received it. She called Amazon. She called um, USPS and they couldn't find out who it was really supposed to go to because she said on the box, all it had was the name Laura and that's not my name, but I didn't see the box. She ended up trying to find out where it belonged, couldn't find anything out. So she gave it to her mom <laughs> and this plant stand that left her house went to her mother's house where her mother set it up and yeah it was at her mom's house and she was a super apologetic and it was not her fault at all she said i will get it back for you and i went home and i waited and i waited and i waited and september came and went october came and went still no plant stand and vivo son reached back out to me and said hey where is this this plant stand i said i don't have it yet I don't really want to go back down to my neighbor's house, but I felt guilty. Like I ended up, you know, I felt guilty. I messed this up. So I went back down there, but no one answered the door and I almost gave up hope. And it's been a long time coming, but as you saw in the clip before, the other night Tom woke me up and said, hey, there's something here for you. And sure enough, it was the plant stand. I have it now and we're gonna set it up and make it look beautiful. Perks of this, is they already set up the stand for me. So I don't have to set it up and it's on rollers and I've already moved it around the front room a few times. So, so far so good. I wanna take you guys with me and show you the process of switching out my old setup to putting in this new plant stand. I hope you guys will enjoy it. 
it's time to switch the setup. So I begin by taking everything off the original plant stand, removing my Christmas decorations, and rolling the new stand out of the way, which was e really easy to move since it's on casters, which I really like. None of my stands that I currently have are on rollers. So I get all the plants off so I can move this clunky thing out of the way. Now it's time to do some cleaning. I take my thieves spray and I spray down the windowsill along with some of the windows and wipe it down really well. I did a little vacuuming where the old plant stand was. I find it very important to clean up that space before bringing in something new. That way you can start off with like a fresh start. And after I got everything cleaned up, I simply rolled the plant stand back. It was really easy to move since it's on wheels, which is a huge plus. Now it's time to bring in some plants. So I start off with this Monstera and Sona. I figured it would do good in the middle, get some more light. And here's a Philodendron Mayoi with its one funky leaf. I figured it too would do better here in the south facing window and give it some oomph to grow this winter. Next, I have this Alocasia Regal Shield that I got from my friend Jenna. She separated it from her mama plant. So now I have one of my own. And here I'm adding the ZZ Raven. I do end up switching a few things around later on in the video. There is a Hoya Macrophylla that would do great right here in the south facing window. A few of these plants have been in this window for a while already and they're doing pretty good so I don't want to move them from this window. Next I'm going to be adding this Monstera Stanleyana. Give it a spot up front to get some good light to maintain the variegation and add some smaller plants into the little nooks and crannies of the stand to utilize all the space. I'm realizing I'm not gonna be able to fit everything until I add some grow lights to the bottom. Here's a Hoya Retusa so it can match the other side where the Peperomia Ruby Cascade is to keep it kind of cohesive for the most part. It's time for some last minute touches, adding some baskets to the side until I can get some zip ties. Um, I do plan on putting some grow lights on that bottom shelf so I can add more plants and utilize all the space. I do end up moving a few things around, but here is how it looks so far. I will show you the end result. I do end up moving the Monstera and Sonai and putting in my Philodendron Subhastatum that I received from Equigenera. It is doing so well. So let me show you this at night when it's not super backlit and it's all set up. Here is the completed setup. I'm really, really happy with how this all turned out. I think this plant stand in particular was a great addition to the front room. The color of the stand matches a lot of my decor, and even though they are a little bit different in color, they still go really well together. And like I mentioned earlier, this plant stand is on wheels, so I can move it amongst my home if I need to, and I can easily move it out to clean underneath of it when need be. So I really, really like that. It holds a lot of plants, and when I finally do get some grow lights and put them on the bottom shelf there, I'll be able to hold even more plants. And it's Houdini approved. He gets to sit back on his windowsill and hide in his very own jungle. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.